Hi, Tim Moy here. Um, next thing I want to demonstrate is how to change a tire. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a jack or a spare tire with my vehicle, so all I'm going to show you is how to change the tire itself. If you need to change a flat tire, say alongside the road, you're going to have to consult your owner's manual, look to see what you have in your trunk for jacks and so on. Um, but this at least will show you the proper way of removing the wheel and installing the wheel and tightening the lug nuts. It's the most important part. Um, and I realize that not all of you are going to have all the tools you need. So, But we'll get started. First thing you do is with the vehicle down on the ground um, is you're going to loosen your lug nuts. So you're going to have to find the proper tools. Uh, this one's got 19 millimeter sock or lug nuts, so I've got a 19 millimeter socket. I like to use a 6 inch extension and a 2 foot or 18 inch uh, breaker bar. I think it's got to remember what this one is. But, uh, and then I'm going to loosen up my lug nuts. So I like to start somewhere on the bottom and uh, make sure I'm going off. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. And all I'm going to do is just crack them loose. I'm not going to take them off. The vehicle's not going to fall on the ground or anything. I'm just cracking them loose. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is because this is a front wheel drive vehicle. We're doing a rear, vehicle, rear wheel. If this was up in the air, this wheel's gonna spin and I need to be able to hold it. And so I'm using the vehicle weight to hold the tire still so I can loosen up the lug nuts. From there, I have a two ton jack right here that I'm gonna use. There's a pinch weld underneath here. Um, you're gonna have to consult your owner's manual on where the, your jacking points are in your vehicle. And so I'm just going to lift the jacket here until the tire is off the ground. Now if you're not on a fairly flat level floor, you may want to chuck uh, the opposite corner of the tire to make sure that the vehicle don't roll. For safety, if you got a jack, your jack stand, put that underneath there as a safety in case this jack would fail. This is a hydraulic jack. If it would all of a sudden fail while I had it up in the air, it would come down, the tire might come off, it might do some damage. This way here, I've got a safety mechanism there. So, now, all of these should be loose enough. Yep, they all are. So I'm gonna just take this off. And this is the other reason why I like using the extension, because I can use two hands. I can spin the lug nuts off very easily. Um, another option I could do, is I do have an air compressor over there. Um, I do have a, impact wrench. I could use air tools um, to take this all off, but the only thing air tools do is give, let me do the job faster. It's not better, it's just faster. This is better. It's more accurate, it's less damaging. Um, so even for myself at home here, if I'm doing my own, I, I do everything by hand. Um, and partly that is because of this lug nut. Some lug nuts have a stamped steel cover over the top. If you use an impact on there, the impact jars on these, and over time it damages the lug nuts and the covers come off, and now their sockets and stuff don't fit properly. But at this point in time, I can just take this off and lay it down. I've got my summer tire right here. I do choose to put summer tires on where I have summer tires and winter tires. Uh, that could be another video we can talk about. But what's really important here is get that tire up mounted flush to the, the brake rotor, up land, if you will. So what I like to do is well, I can just get, I like to start at the bottom because you notice when I put this up, it kind of the tire kind of came out at an angle like this. So if I pull the bottom in and get this one snug, the wheel's on there pretty pretty straight and now I can fairly quickly go through and just get everything tightened up. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this, when you remove the lug nuts, it's a good idea, it's not extremely important, but it's a good idea to take them off in a start pattern. Start pattern is where you start at one spot and you crisscross over the tire. It's very important that you do that going on. Not as important coming off, but as I teach my students, Take them off like you're going to put them on. So, that way it's just a habit building thing. I'm going to put this on, put this to on, right and tighty. And all I do now is snug it up. Oh, I need have a parking brake on, that's why this is not turning. So, I'm just snugging these up. 
That also would be very helpful, parking brake. But a lot of us in Wisconsin don't like to use our parking brake because they can rust. This one's electric, so it's not as prone to that, at least not yet. So now I've got the wheel snug. And I went through and I start pattern and snugged it up. Oh, I can take my jack out, my safety jack. Lower it down, just so it's touching, not taking all the weight off. The reason why I do that is if the tire isn't completely tight and the tire wants to walk away a little bit, um, I'm not putting as much stress and pressure on it. So that way when I go to tighten it, I'm doing it more accurately. When you tighten your lug nuts, it's important that you use a torque wrench. Now, if you're out on the highway and you got a flat tire, you do what you can. You snug up the wheels, you get them good and tight, you get home, and if you have a torque wrench, go back over them and retorque them. Um, it's very important. I could go into a lot of reasons why, but it's just extremely important that you use a torque wrench. Um, if you're going to do this for many years, um, invest in a torque wrench. I mean, we only have to buy one for wheels. Uh, a good one is going to be $150 to $200. You think about how many tire rotations or whatever you do over the life of a car, you can, you can bring that, you know, you can save that in over a period of time and you'll recoup that cost. You can buy cheap ones around 50 bucks. I don't recommend those. They're not as accurate. Um, and so this one was probably $150 to $200. Uh, you'll learn how to use that when you get one. Um, but basically there's a torque setting on here that you adjust it to. I already have mine set to 100 foot-pounds. That's what these lug nuts are supposed to be tightened to. 80 is common, 100 is common, 120, 140 are common in trucks. So you have to consult your owner's manual um, on what that torque should be. So, so when I go to tighten these, I'm going to go on, I'm going to go down, nice and steady until it clicks. All right, I'm just going to go down nice and even and steady until it clicks. Oops, let's click this one. This one was a little bit looser. Yeah, now I got it set to 100 foot pounds. 100 foot pounds. Now I'm going to go back over one more time. This should be quick. But the reason why you do this is if for some reason uh, one did not get tightened properly, you're double checking it. It's that way you know that they're all set equally. They're all at 100 foot pounds. And now I can lift the vehicle down and that tire is installed. So I hope that video was helpful. Stay safe, stay at home.